Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. In today's screencast, we are going to build a custom kernel for the Jetson TK1. Let's get started. I've just finished flashing L4T 21.4 on the Jetson TK1 with Jetpack 2.2. Let's go to the Build Jetson TK1 kernel repository on the Jetson Hacks GitHub account. We'll clone the repository. Let's get the address here. Git clone. Paste in the address. Now switch over to the repository directory. And we have three shell scripts. Build the kernel, copy the Z image, and the, get the kernel sources. So we're going to get the kernel sources and open up the configuration editor. The download is finished and the files have been decompressed in the user slash source slash kernel directory. We're going to change the configuration of the kernel. This is the custom part. The first thing that I want to do is set the local version string. I select general setup, local version. Depending on what type of kernel you want to build, you may want to use the uname local version, which would be minus GDACAC96. But in this particular case, since I'm building it for a ROS project, I'm going to name it something else. Double click on that. I'll say Jetson Bots. Version 1. There are a couple of modules that I want to build. The first one is for FTDI support. So let's go to device drivers, USB support. USB serial converter support. And I want to build FTDI. So I want to build it as a module. I want this little circle to show up here. I'm using the FTDI to talk to a couple of the serial devices. Basically FTDI is a chip which takes serial import and converts it to USB. The second modification I want to do to this particular kernel is to build the USB class driver, which is UBC. So I go to device drivers, multimedia support, Media USB adapters. I want to change this into a module. So I click on it until the circle comes up. So I'm ready to save that. And close it. So I'm ready to build FTDI as a module and UVC support as a module. So now I'm ready to modify the UVC driver to support a RealSense camera. So I'm going to download the install live RealSense repository. So let me grab that.
git clone, paste this in here. Switch over to the install live real sense directory. Switch over to UVC kernel patches. Let's apply the patch. And now we're ready to make the kernel. Okay, now that we're finished building, we're ready to copy the image we just created over to the boot directory. Here's a convenient script to do that. Copy Z image. And we're ready to reboot and have changes take effect. Okay, we're back from rebooting. Let's open up a terminal. Control Alt T. And we'll see what happened. So you can see that our new kernel is Jetsonbot version one.